You cannot have New York Fashion Week without fabulous makeup. Derek Rutledge is referred to as the makeup maestro of fans around the world. He's a celebrity makeup artist and stylist with more than 30 years experience. And he is on speed dial for Oprah, who's been his main client for years. He's also painted the beautiful faces of Beyonce, Shaka Khan, and former First Lady Michelle Obama, who called him to the White House for special occasions. And Derek is here with us today to talk about New York Fashion Week. So honored to have you here, and thanks for starting your day with us. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So first, we want to know, how did you sec secure a client like Oprah, and what is it like doing the queen of media's makeup? Well, um, I started out wor working with, well, of course, as you said, my career is 30 years. Uh, working with Michelle Obama at the White House, I started working with her in 2009. Um, and then Oprah saw the beautiful work I was doing with Michelle Obama and she actually brought me up here to New York and auditioned me and asked me how she could uh, as well work with my work with me and uh, I auditioned uh, I said well if you work out some details with the First Lady I'm sure I can work with both of you all I did it for about three months um, and then my schedule because as you well know both of them have very vigorous schedules so i ended up being there for almost the first um term of the first lady and then i went on and um went with um oprah who i've been with now for the past 10 years and i, I can't tell you how enjoyable it's been to experience all the places i've traveled all over the world the magazine covers i've done with her the movies i've done with her um they've been incredible that is just amazing. So tell us, what was it like working with our forever first lady, Mrs. Obama? Um, she was lovely to work with. She, she trusted my eye. She trusted everything I did as far as um, uh, creating looks that were iconic as far as like the Time Magazine cover, the, the one I love that's in black and white where she's putting her hands on her face, those, um, the state dinners, um, she loves fashion, she loves style, she loves looking beautiful, and I always made sure that whatever I did with her makeup always worked with whatever situation she was in. And um, she will ever be my, my first lady, and she will always be someone who I treasure um, forever. Wow, just fascinating. You know, so many up and coming makeup artists aspire to be just like you and secure those big names, those celebrity clients. So mm -hmm. what is your advice to them? Well, I, that's a good question because I get that whenever I travel or whenever I give seminars, people always want to know, well, what is it that I can do to do what you do and be like a celebrity makeup artist like you? And what I explain to them is, don't try to go after being a celebrity makeup artist. I didn't go after being a celebrity. I wanted to be the best makeup artist I could be. The the work that I did and, and continue to do gets um, people, celebrities, um, always talking about uh, the my attitude, my professionalism, um, how good I smell, things like that. All these things could contribute to being a much better artist and then what what when people see that then they start passing your name on um and i and i always say i'm a continuous student because i do get inspiration from a lot of the young people that are out here doing all kinds of wonderful work i i get encouraged by watching and seeing what the new trends are but the new trends don't always work on everybody and i explain that take and adjust those new trends to accommodate your client because, and then know your mediums, no television, no photo shoots, no uh, makeup for stage. Just be a constant student of your craft and that will take you far. Great advice. New York Fashion Week Thank shows you. are in person this year. We're all excited yes. about that. And you're doing makeup for the Dordu show. We interviewed the mother yes, and am. daughter duo behind the line last week. So well, how you do did. you create That's makeup wonderful. looks to complement fashion looks? What's your artistic plan, if you want to call it? 
Well, what I did was um, once I saw their collection, then I came up with an idea for making sure that I had all kinds of charts, just beautiful charts of their different eyes that I wanted to, to go with the different looks that I wanted for the show. So this is what I did. What I did I, as an artist, I have to come up with a creative idea of what I wanted, and that's what I did. And then once I did that, I got my team together. I sent them the charts, and then once I sent them the charts, they knew exactly how to put together their makeup um, kits so that when we all meet up on the morning of the show and get the models ready, they'll know exactly the look that I'm going for. And then what I'll do is I will set a actual look for each one of the models. So there's no question as the look that I'm going for for each model for the show. And those look gorgeous. You know how to make those eyes pop. So tell us about I your eyelash and grow serum. Well, the one good thing about the lashes is that it, it came about last year during a period when we were all in during COVID and everybody, and my whole campaign was, how do you make a first impression? How do you make an impression? But through your eyes. And because a lot of the women that I was working with, um, teaching them Zoom makeup lessons so that they could be prepared to be able to talk on, um, on Zoom um, interviews, they were always talking about, well, you know, a lot of them were getting extensions. Well, everything was closed, so they could not go out and get their lashes done. So what I did was I said, well, how do you make an impression but through your eyes, especially if you're wearing a mask? So I decided to come up with a lash line. And then when, when creating the line, I had to make sure that I found lashes and created lashes that actually um, mimic people's hair because everyone doesn't have hair that grows straight out. Um, different ethnicities have hairs that grow in different directions. They have hairs that grow straight. Some have hair that's curly. So I wanted to, I created a 3D, 4D, and 5D. 5D is the ones that are, are all different um, levels of hair. And then um, that way, I, and then I also did not want to keep out the every ethnicity as well as every age group. So I also have those very long, luxurious lashes. I'll say long and luxurious lashes, but it's the ones that the younger um, women are wearing that are, to me, can be a little out over the top, but they, they're, the, young ones, the young people love them. And I'm even finding some of the um, more mature women that love them as well. So that was, and then um, that's what I came up with, the, the lashes, and then also making sure that they were accustomed to every age group. I love that. That's so thoughtful. And you're right. Our eyes and lashes are more important than ever now that we're all wearing masks these days. You know, your yes. makeup techniques have provided a blueprint for professional makeup artists, brands, and everyday women. So before we let you go, can you show us everyday women just something that we can incorporate into our regime? Um, well, actually, this week I'm launching my new skin serum, Aura, which is all about radiating beauty from within. And this is the packaging for it here. I don't, I don't want to show. This is the packaging for it, and this is the actual bottle. And what we, uh, what it is, is a serum that you put on morning and night that helps to regenerate the collagen. It helps to give the skin glow. It actually penetrates the skin because it's very rich in all kinds of wonderful essential oils such as um, squalene, um, baobab oil, um, um, baobacthorn, um, buckthorn oil, grapeseed oil, a lot of the really rich, uber rich essential oils that are actually penetrate the level of the skin. And it also makes for a good barrier and also helps with making the makeup that you apply look more, more radiant and making the skin really glow. Because the whole thing about beautiful skin is that, um, with makeup now, is that they want to see skin. They don't want to be look like they're covered up, but they want to see skin. So um, I'm very happy to be a part of the Dudu Fashion Show to be able to launch the um, Aura uh, Skin Serum this week. And that it'll be actually something that people can actually start um, going to my website, perfecting your presence and ordering, and then get themselves ready for the holiday season. It'd be a good gift for everyone to have during the holiday and something that you can have, you can use on a regular basis.
It would be a great gift. And yeah, who doesn't want that it sort of be. It would be. glow from within uh, energy about them? So love you. Love what and you do. Thank you, you so much to Derek Rutledge for right. being with us on Start Your Day.